Let me ask you about uh, assaults on uh, federal property in places other than Washington, D.C., Portland, for instance, Seattle. Do you regard assaults on federal courthouses or other federal property as acts of domestic extremism, domestic terrorism? Well, uh, Senator, uh, my own definition, which is about the same as the statutory definition, is uh, the use of violence or threats of violence uh, in an attempt to uh, disrupt uh, democratic processes. So an attack on a, uh, uh, a courthouse while in operation, uh, trying to prevent judges from actually deciding cases, that plainly is um, domestic uh, um, uh, uh, extremism, um, 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 uh, uh, domestic uh, terrorism, um, an attack simply on a government property at night or any other kind of uh, circumstances is a clear crime and a serious one and should be punished. I don't mean, I don't know enough of the, about the facts of the example you're talking about, but that's where I, I draw the line. One, one is both are uh, criminal, um, uh, but one is uh, a core attack on our democratic institutions. Let me ask. What is this guy talking about? He's the one being confirmed for attorney general? The guy who doesn't know anything about the attacks that have been going on for at least eight months in Portland? Did he seriously just say that attacks on the Portland courthouse weren't domestic terrorism because they happened after hours? There's video out there of Antifa and BLM protesters throwing actual bombs at the courthouse. Throwing bombs at a courthouse during a multiple month siege? Definitely not domestic terrorism when left-wingers do it. Meanwhile, they continue calling the minor riot that occurred at the Capitol an insurrection in domestic terrorism when the only person that was killed was an unarmed Trump supporter. And if he's claiming that this isn't domestic terrorism because it happened after hours and wasn't interfering with government work, if that's the case, then was it domestic terrorism when Democrats flooded the Capitol in their attempt to stop the confirmation of Brett Kavanaugh? Oh, of course not because no matter what, it's always going to be different when they do it. They're always going to have some rationalization and justification lined up and repeated ad nauseum by their media complex, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> 